today's video is going to be a create recreation of Kylie Jenner's um, makeup to, makeup look that she wore to the Vera Wang um, fashion show. So this is the recreation that I'm doing. So if you want to know how to recreate this look, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to do is moisturise your skin. The first thing that I used already was the SD Lauder Stay With Moisturiser. It's one of my favourite moisturisers. Um, so I kind of let that sink in prior to this video. And next I'm going to try this little um, sample that I got from Clinique. And it's the Clinique Super Primer Universal Face Primer Base. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of that and just kind of just work that all over my skin. I've never tried this one, so I thought it'd be really good to try them in like make tutorial videos. So I try to really focus it on my T-zone because that's where I tend to get really oily and then just work it into the rest of my skin. And I tend to get really red whenever I put primer on or moisturiser which is really annoying. But yeah, sorry for the redness, I like to just, I just, it's sensitive skin. Next for foundation we're going to be using the Double Wear in Fresco foundation. And I'm just literally just put some on my little palette and I'm just going to grab my lovely and trusty Inglot Pro blending sponge. I'm just going to dab that all over the skin. Next for concealer, you'd have seen this in one of my previous videos as well. I love using this and it's the Max Factor Pan Stick in 25 Fair. I just really love this because it just gives you full coverage but it's really easily bendable with the beauty bl with the blending sponge. So I just always tend to focus on the under eye area. And I've got some like little pimples and like little spots so I'll just cover that up with this as well. And if you see Kylie Jenner's like uh, the picture, she's got she's like really highlighted in this like middle area. So I'm just going to try and focus it on that area here. So it's mainly just in the middle of the face, that's where she tends to be highlighted the most. And then just grab your blending sponge and just really work that into the skin. Next I'm going to just set the concealer and I'm going to be using the Inglots Loose Powder in number 14. And I'm just going to literally use the baking method again, just because I think Kylie has that kind of method. You can see that Kylie's got that thicker consistency, especially when it comes to the powder. So we just literally pack it on, on the areas where we had the concealer. Okay guys, so whilst that's baking again, I'm going to just take a pressed powder and this is by Revolution and it's in the shade Natural and I'm just going to just take a big fluffy brush, I'm just taking the Nan Sheets powder brush and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. So now I'm just taking the Senna's powder point 33, I'm just going to literally just tap away any excess from the powder and that just really nicely evens everything out. Next I'm going to go in with my brows and today I'm going to be using the um, Brow Bar To Go and this is by Whitening Nightling slash um, Jared Cosmetics and I'm in the shade Light. So I'm just going to do this quickly and be back very quickly. Eyebrows are done and I use the Brow Bar To Go by Jared Cosmetics in the shade Light and basically the ones that I used were a mixture of both two colours. Um, I didn't use any of the wax because even in the pictures that I've seen with of Kylie Jenner they were more like just slightly bushy and then nothing too intense. And then what I'll do is I'll just grab my trusty number 7 one and just kind of just comb them through. So once I added the powder you can just literally just Turn them through very slightly. Next, what I'm going to do since um, the base of the foundation and powder is done, I'm just going to take the Max uh, Mac Fix Plus and just set it because you want to layer that up and you want to make sure everything stays put. So, um, you only need a couple of sprays, but that's just going to lock 
the makeup that we've done now so we can continue with the rest. Um, next I'm going to just kind of focus on the eyes now and she has more of that kind of goldy slash um, very neutral eye so it's nothing too intense on the eye and even like with the eyeliner she kind of just has, a, I think she kind of has a smoky kind of eyeshadow liner. So the first thing I want to do is prime my eyes and I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, it's like one of my favourite prime eye primers and just literally After I've primed the eyes, I'm going in with Painfully um, Paint Pop by MAC and I'm just going to literally just use, do that all over the eyes and I'm just using just a little brush just to kind of just glide this onto the skin. The palette I'm going to be using is by Collection and this is just a really adorable um, little palette and it's the Little Mix Love All About Eyes palette. Now I'm not sure if you can still get this but it's literally like, the cutest little palette ever and as you can see you get like literally a, about is it six shades you get six shades of like very neutral colours but they're still very pigmented and I've used this before and honestly I think for the money it was about £2.99 from Boots um, it's just well worth it I think you can get them in Superdrug don't quote me I'm not sure but I'm not sure if you can still get this palette, but they've got other um, similar palettes that you can pick up. But I today I'm going to use this, and I'm just going to use a couple of colours from here just to recreate her look. So basically, from looking at the picture, she's kind of got that kind of creamy um, texture in the fur, in like the inner corner, and then kind of goes into like this kind of really nice goldeny, then like more of like a bronzy look. So I'm going to pretty much focus on the like the probably the first four, and then just do the black as the little eyeliner. Um, so the first colour I'm going to be taking is called Feather, which is the first colour there. And I'm just going to take that on a flat shader brush. And I'm using the Inglot 28 PO and just literally grab some on the brush there. And just literally pack that on. Now I'm just going to literally go all over the lid. As you can see, the payoff is amazing. Okay guys, so next I'm going to be taking um, the third one in and it's called Golden Sand and that one I'm just going to really work it into like just like the inner third, like inner third but not next to the tear duct. So I'm just going to grab some on, this is a Lauren Luke um, little shader brush and I'm just going to grab some and the thing is why I like this is they're very sparkly but very pigmented. So I'm going to literally just pat that just literally in the middle of the two thirds. So to do the outer corner, I'm just going to be mixing two colours. I'm going to mix the Sunkist, which is the second one here. And I'm going to be mixing Dazzling Brown, which is this one here, just on a fluffy brush. So you just literally mix the two together, tap any excess off, and just focus it on the outer V. And that will create that lovely kind of golden shade that she's got on the outer corner. So just mix the two together just to create the lovely hue of like this golden colour. And then when you want to blend out without having any product on, just I'm just grabbing the 224 by MAC and just literally working that in the kind of the, wind, the windshield kind of swiping motion. So just literally work that in very softly into the eyelid but just keeping it very golden and sparkly like she's got. It's a very simple eyelid because then she's just kept it really simple but then she's got the bold lips so don't worry if it's not perfect because obviously then you're just going to you're going to tie that up with a nice bold lip and you just tied up the eye as well. Um, so yeah, next I'm just going to do the brow one. So I'm just taking the first one again and that's called Feather. Just taking that on a smaller flat shader brush. I'm just going to just highlight the brow bone very slightly. So what I'm going to do next is the um, eyeshadow as a liner. So I'm just going to take the really nice jet black and this one's called Blackbird. And I'm just using that on an angled um, shader brush and I'm just going to pack that into the shadow there. I'm just going to tap off any excess and just literally, she doesn't have a wing or anything, she just has like four slashes on. So I'm just going to literally just create a nice little flick. And 
And then to finish off the look, I'm just taking the 219 Pencil Brush by MAC and just literally running that over black, just to give it more of a smoky look. If you get any fallout or anything, just lightly just grab the powder brush that you use to um, powder your concealer and just literally just lightly just kind of dust it away. Especially when it was black, I just had a little bit of like fallout but not too much, so all I have to do is just literally clean it up very 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 quickly. Next is mascara and lashes. So the mascara I'm going to be using is this sample of the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara in Black. I'm actually really loving this mascara. And then I'm just going to apply some um, natural false lashes um, because I like the natural kind of kind of look. And these are the Isla by um, Cheryl Lashes by Isla. The sexy senoritas would have seen me use these constantly. Um, so that's what I'm going to do and I'll be back very shortly. Hey guys, so the eyes are done, literally just get that really nice kind of golden-y kind of touch, a little bit of an eyeliner, and obviously she's got the big, bold lashes that she always, always has. And now I'm just going to really warm up the skin like she's got in the picture, and obviously what she what, what she was wearing on the day. And I'm just going to be taking the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark by MAC, taking an angled brush, and this one's by Nanshi in the one called Contouring, and just literally warming up the skin so... Just kind of class it as a contouring, but really warming up the skin. So even if you might be focusing on the contouring, but we're actually going to be using something else for contouring. So I'm just going to literally just use it as to warm up the skin. So in the areas that I'll be contouring, the head, the forehead, just really warm it up and really add some colour to the skin. Um, I'm going to be taking this palette by Makeup Revolution and this is the Sugar and Spice Blush Palette and I'm going to be mixing this lovely coral shade with the second kind of nudey neutral brown shade just to give a bit of colour on the cheeks but it's still very natural because it doesn't look like she's got anything on but if she does it's a very natural shade so I'm just mixing those two together just to give a bit of colour just on the cheeks and just to change up a bit. Next you can't have a Kylie Jenner look without highlights and I'm going to be using the Makeup Relation Highlighter Palette in Radiance. Now you do get lots and lots of colours in here and I'm actually going to go for the middle one which is a, this is going to be a lovely kind of, I don't know if you guys can see this probably, probably not with the shade but I'm going to take the middle one here on the Real Techniques um, blush brush number 300 and just literally just add some highlight just above where we've done the blush and what I like to do is just a little bit on the nose and just go down the bridge of the nose like so now to finish off the look she has this gorgeous brown lip and I'm going to be using the BYS lip liner in chocolate with the Max Factors Lipfinity in number 355 actually and it's called Ever Lustrous and it's this gorgeous brown shade. This is one of the new shades that came out um, this year so let's just get into it. Okay, so lip liner is done and now we're going in with the lipstick and this is a liquid lipstick as well.
my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below. Enter my giveaway. I've got a MAC lipstick giveaway like ending in about a week and a half. The, the link to that would be in the description bar below. Um, thank you guys for all your support. And big thumbs up as I said. Subscribe. And welcome to the Piggy family. So yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.